Hi there, this is Phil with PhilFX and I've got another tutorial. Today's tutorial is uh, creating projects, creating new projects in Maya 2017. Uh, when you work with Maya, Maya is such that it creates and uses uh, lots of many many files and this can be troublesome if you don't keep yourself organized. Uh, luckily Maya has built into it a project system that manages and maintains all of these files and folders and does it automatically for you. And the way that you access and do this, and for class, I really want everyone to always do this every time, is you're gonna create a new project, so you go up to File, and you come down here to Project Window. So this is what you would go to for creating a new project. So you'd click on Project Window, and this Project Window comes up. And what it does is these are the default folders that it's going to use and this is the default location in my case it's going to put it in a path that's my username to documents my projects and it has a name that's just default to begin with but we want to create a new one and I really don't want to put it in this location uh, I want to put it on the desktop which is actually what you should do when you uh, are in class and you create a new project so let's uh, go through the steps of how we would do that so we want to create new so I go over here to click new and notice when I click new, this folder browser became active. It was hidden before and now it's active. So I can go up and I can click on this and I can browse to a path. And in my case, I want to go to my desktop. So I click on desktop and let me lift this up so you can see this. I have a feeling it's not going to be seen on the screen capture. Here it is. So now you can see in the screen capture, I've clicked on desktop. We have user phopis desktop and I just select that folder. And so now you can see the location path. It's going to be user phopis desktop. And it's going to create a uh, project. And this is the project name. So let's change that name. Let's just call this, uh, i get caps lock on here, week one, or this is week two. So we'll say week two, art185. OK. And uh, We'll go ahead and hit accept here, but before I do that real quick, it's going to create a folder and this is going to be the folder name and it's going to create all of these folders that are inside of it. And if you wanted to, you can change the location, you can create new folders, you can create new names. I don't want you to do anything like that. Just accept the default conditions and the folders that will have information for class that we are going to use are going to be scenes. So when you create a new Maya scene, that's where it's going to be saved and it's going to be saved in the scene folder. We will use source images. This is what you use when you want to have a background or you want to have a picture that you want to use as a texture. It's always, it's not that you can't store it somewhere else, but Maya always looks for that in the source images. When you render an output, the output is put into the images folder. So this is for output, this is for input, and then the last folder that would be used is if you have autosave turned on, and you should do that, your autosaved files of your uh, scene files are going to be in the autosave folder. So let's go ahead and hit accept. And now if I take and click on my desktop, and let me hide Maya actually, so I'll hide Maya. We'll look on the desktop. We've created this folder called week two art 185. And if I double click and go into that, you can see all of these uh, subfolders that have been created. And there's even subfolders inside those. So if you go in scenes, there's an edit uh, folder. Uh, you don't use this, uh, Maya actually uses this. And, but there's, you can see that it's created folders. Uh, this is a uh, workspace. Uh, we won't get into what this does, but Maya needs this file and so it creates this file. So we have files and folders and it's created on the desktop. So when you're working with Maya in school, you would work with Maya, you'd put it on your, de uh, you'd put the uh, working folder on your desktop. And the only thing different that you would do is uh, working in the school computers. You would also have an icon hopefully for your USB drive. So when you're done uh, working in class, you take this and you would drag this and drop it into your USB drive uh, when you were done with class. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to Maya. And we see here, uh, so we have created a new project and opened the project window. And 
we've talked about that dialog box and the relative uh, fields and projects that you've used and show you that you create how you can create that new project. And the last thing that I want to demonstrate or show on that menu is once you've uh, been working with Maya a little bit and you create you sign in as a user uh, there's a couple other important uh, uh, project menu items that you would use if you have Maya open and you've been working for a while and now you want to work on a new project and you don't want to close Maya what you can do is you close the scene file that you're working on but then you go over here to set project and you say okay I'm gonna set project and go to a different project so I can click on here and this brings up a uh, dialog box or a, a file browser and I can navigate on my computer to where I might have other projects like if I go to here and this is a project that I have you can see I have Maya and I can go into here and I have a project called Tungsten Atom and I could set this and it would change my working project to be this path and uh, be working on the uh, Tungsten Atom project and so that allows me to change the working project. Had I done that, then if I want to open up a scene file, it's going to look for the scene files in the project that I just set. A little bit quicker way of accessing thing is there's a tab here called Recent Files and another tab called Recent Projects. Uh, obviously, uh, what you would want to do is first go to Recent Pro Re If you're going to change your project, you would go to Recent Projects and change to one of the more recent projects that are on this drop-down menu. If you're staying in the same project, but you want to open up a new scene file, then what you might want to do is go to recent files. And if there's many scene files that you're using or working on on a particular project, then and you've accessed them and saved once before, then they'll be on this drop down right here. And so it's just a quicker way of getting to recent files and getting to recent projects. So hopefully this will help you with uh, working with projects. And this has been Phil with Phil Effects. Thanks a lot.